everybody, so a new review for you guys today. We're about the upcoming Netflix film, The Trial of the Chicago 7. This was another Netflix film I was highly anticipating, not only just because of that amazing cast, you know, Mark Rylance, Eddie Redmayne, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Sasha Baron Cohen, Jeremy Strong, Yahya Abdul-Mateen, Frank Langella. I mean, the list goes on. There's so much talent involved in this cast, but also writer-director Aaron Sorkin is behind this project, and he's brought us some really great films over the years, writing stuff like The Social Network and also A Few Good Men, which are two films that I really enjoy. With all those factors, this seemed like a prime movie for an awards push from Netflix. So The Trial of the Chicago 7 is the story of seven people on trial stemming from various charges from a peaceful protest at the 1968 Democratic National Convention in Chicago, Illinois, that turned into a violent clash when police and National Guard got involved. After seeing the film, I'm actually floored at just how remarkable so many aspects of the film were. It's been quite a while since we got a really good courtroom genre, but much like A Few Good Men, Aaron Sorkin here is in his element with this material. The script is very tight. Practically every line of dialogue packs a punch from every one of our characters. Of course, this film is quite politically charged, but even though this film is set during the 1960s, a lot of its messaging still rings true to the current events happening around us right now in the world, even in 2020, as these seven men were put on trial, charged with conspiracy to incite riots from peacefully protesting. Which leads me into the performances. I thought every single one of them were excellent. There were some that were a little bit better than others, but I honestly feel like this is probably one of the best ensembles put to screen in 2020 so far. Some of the standout performances for me probably were from Mark Rylance, uh, Frank Langella, Jeremy Strong, uh, Yaya Abdul-Mateen also gave a really great performance, but also Sasha Baron Cohen. I mean, he's so good in this role. And it's such a shame that he doesn't really take on too many of these big dramatic roles. He's kind of mostly known as the funny guy, but he's really sharp here in this role. And I really hope that he takes on more dramatic roles after this because he's easily one of the best parts of this film. The editing for the film as well is really slick. It actually adds a whole other layer to the film, especially in the courtroom scenes. It just really is a captivating film. I really would be surprised if anyone sees this and isn't captivated from start to finish with the story that unfolds, just because it's such an interesting story that we really don't really talk about too much in today's world. Like, I promise, honestly, if I hadn't known that this was coming to Netflix soon, I wouldn't have even looked up the original story because I wasn't really aware of it. Hopefully, because this is on Netflix and a Netflix film and a lot of people have access to Netflix, a lot more people are going to be educated on this story and just how impactful it was in history because I think it's a really important story. I really think that this is a story that you should definitely learn more about, especially with the current climate that we're in when it comes to a lot of this stuff. Because even though this story took place 50 or so years ago, we're still having some of these same issues now in 2020. But in case you couldn't tell by now, I highly recommend checking out this film when you get a chance. The Trial of Chicago 7. It's actually in select theaters this month, but I don't know which theaters. It's one of those things with theaters right now. It's kind of crazy. But it will be on Netflix October 16th. So if you have Netflix, check it out next month on October 16th. I think it's going to be a serious awards contender. I mean, you got like best supporting. It could be a couple different ways. You got best original screenplay, best director, best editing, best picture. I mean, it's even a, probably a nom possible nominee for best picture as well. It's been a kind of slow year, but I think we're picking up that award season right around now. So make sure you stick around with all the other awards films that are coming out in the upcoming months. But those have just been my thoughts on the Child of the Chicago 7. Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section down below. What did you think of the film? When you get a chance to check it out? Did you like it? Did you not like it? And also, what do you think its award chances are? Do you think it's going to be a contender for best picture, best screenplay, best editing, best supporting, or any other plethora of different categories? I think it has a really strong chance, but I'd love to talk about it with you guys in the comment section down below. So make sure you leave a comment because I know we talk about all these movies, TV, all here on the channel. Thank you as always for checking my reviews though. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you like it, the subscribe button. We'll keep my movie reviews, show reactions, unboxings, and more for the next time. I'll see you guys later.